today we continue to build up my new frame, my stiff squatch. Um, I've hit a little snag, the chain guide doesn't fit the frame. So today, we're going to fix that. Okay, so the plan for today is to fix this chain guide. Um, it doesn't fit the frame very well. Um, I guess I've got two options here. You can see here that it's rubbing on the outer side of the chain, so I need to bring it forwards. Now there's two options here. There's actually a spacer in front of it on the bottom bracket, so I could remove the spacer from the bottom bracket and actually bring it forwards, um, but it doesn't need that much space, and I'm a bit worried if I bring it forwards when the cassette is in the lowest gear, it's gonna rub on the opposite side. So now what I'm going to do is run to the garage and see if I can find myself a spacer. So I suspect like a lot of you out there, I've got a little corner of the garage dedicated to bits and bobs. Just a little bit out of the way. And within a few seconds of rummaging around, I have the item I need. I can remove just the guide section with an Allen key. And that's it, it's off. Now, the original design and the length of this bolt is only designed to take two spacers. So now I have two options. I can either find a longer bolt or give myself a little bit more thread space. I go with option two and I drill out. I go with option two and I essentially hand drill. I essentially hand drill the gap bigger with a screw. I do the same on my new spacer because the hole's too small. That's it. That's all it takes. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put these two bits back together. You can see. These bits are designed to fit together, so I didn't want to put a spacer there or add some filler or something silly like that. So I kept these parts together for strength for sure, right? Nice and clipped together. I then add one spacer on one side of my new spacer, add another spacer on the other, and then finally, I add the second official spacer. So I put my spacer in the middle of the two spacers, and I think that's going to work well. So now, what I'm going to do is screw that in. And you can tell the hole on the new spacer is a bit smaller because it actually has to... You can see here I actually have to thread that screw through. Whereas with the official spacer it just slots on like that. Adds a bit of extra security in terms of not going anywhere, so I think this is going to work well. Installation is the opposite of removal. Now the chain is loose, that's the next problem that needs fixing, but it is also in the lowest setting, and in the lowest setting we have like maybe a millimetre of space there, 
Um, so if I lift this a little bit, undo it, drop it, come down like this. Yeah, there's plenty of space there. That's it. Problem solved. So as always, guys, in life, sometimes, um, you know, simple problems require simple solutions. Don't um, over-complicate it. That took me all of two minutes to get around this simple issue. Um, and... Problem solved. Thank you for watching. Hope you come back next time.